Hello guys, I'm here. Say, you ever use enumerations? Not really. <laughs> you better do. Let me show you what they are, how to cook them and why you need them. Also, make sure you watch the video till the end, because there is some interesting knowledge I found on the topic while writing code for this video. So, let's start. What is an enum? Enum stands for enumeration. Essentially, enumeration is a bunch of consecutive constant integers. I always use enumerations in my projects and later in the video I will show you a few examples. Think of it like that. You have the ability to give a value an understandable name and refer to it by that while still using it as a number. In an enumeration, the first key has the value of 0 by default. Every constant after that is consecutively bigger on 1. However, you can change the starting value or any other basically. And all the constants after the one you changed will adapt to the new sequence. And negative integers will do the job as well. Now, let's switch to practice. Here we are in Godot. Nothing special, just a node to the scene, the main scene by default, and it has its own blank script. First of all, we'll make a basic enumeration. Here it is. It's an enumeration and three constants, and in the ready function we'll print them. As you can see, the output is 0, 1, 2. As I told you, it starts from 0. Now, let's change this uno to say 5. The output has changed. Now, the duo is 6 and the trio is 7. Let's change duo to minus 11. And here we go, uno was 5, but then we changed the duo to minus 11, so the value of the next constant is bigger on 1 than its previous duo. Ok, so that's the most basic enumeration you can have. It has no group name, essentially it's just a bunch of constants that consecutively have bigger values. But let's now write a grouped enumeration. Enumeration animals that contains some constants, cat, dog, elephant and hippo. Now, when we will be calling it, we cannot call it by just using the key. Since it's a grouped enumeration with its own name, we first need to write the value of this group, animals, dot, and then, as you can see, it offers me to autocomplete that. And speaking of that, it's not necessary to write it all caps, but it's a general rule that you write constants only in caps. So, why would you need to use enumerations in your projects? As you have already guessed, one of the benefits of that is that every constant will have its unique value, and it's gonna be very easy to customize that. So for instance, if I had these three values, I would not need to change all of them. All I would need is to change whichever I need, and all the other after that, they will adapt automatically. For instance, in my game Barking Irons, I used it for random system events. I had an enumeration of the events I can have, and then I paired it with a dictionary that would contain the chance of every event. And this way, when I only need a list of random events, I can use enumeration. But when I need to get the chances of it, I will use dictionaries. Another wonderful feature is the ability to use enumerations as your input type. For instance, let's create an export variable called chosen animal. After the keyword export, you put the name of the enumeration in the brackets. And make sure that this export variable is after the enumeration is defined. Because if I try to define it here, the auto-completion doesn't work. Let's go to our scene and look, chosen animal, and now we can choose whatever we need. So, now the bonus. A dictionary is a bunch of keys associated with their values. The keys can be of any type, be it an integer, a float or a string. Let's create a dictionary called AnimDict and we will mimic our animals enumeration. With the cat starts from 1 and the hippo ends with 4. The only difference is that in the dictionary we used strings for keys. Or is there any difference? This code we will allow us to see that. In the first one we print the values of each constant, then we print its keys, like this hippo, elephant and stuff. 
than the values of that. And then we compare how the enumeration and dictionary look together. And look at that, the same result. In other words, enumeration is a subtype of dictionary. So that's it for this video. I highly encourage you to now play for a bit with enumerations yourself. In case if you want to understand the topic better, I left some helpful links in the description for you to look through. So thank you for watching, I hope this video was helpful and you liked it. If you did, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. It was Ives and until next time.